bid him not God speed. Right? You don't exalt him. You, you don't you don't team up with him. You don't join cap with him. Bid him not good speed. Okay? You don't need to do that. Okay? And the God speed is what? Yahabai Shim Yahab Shabrakata. You don't need to say that. If someone's teaching something outside the script, you don't need to say Yahabai Shim Yahab Shabrakata. You don't need to do that. It says bid him not good speed. Because if you're doing that, guess what you guess what you're doing? Your your beat your 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 um what's the word what's the word what's the word? You're upholding that man, his wickedness, even though he's against what the doctrine. You ever against the doctrine? You're against Yahweh Shai. Right? It's like you're joining you're joining in with him with his sins, right? Receive him not into your house. The house re represents a camp. You don't receive you don't receive this man into your camp. He's te the man teaching some foreign, some next foreign doctrine, some bug that doctrine, calling on Ahaya, Yeshaya, or whatever, and you accept this man in in in, in a camp, you know? You, you, look, the spirit's telling me you got men in camps. They they've been in the truth for a long time, but they still go into the Christian churches, and they they still turn up to camp. The scriptures bid them not good God speed. You have a man that one minute, one lesson. He's saying, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. Then the next minute he's saying, Jesus Christ. That's a man that's bugged out. That's a man that's unstable. Right? His name is Yahweh, Shai. And if you don't believe that, guess what? You should pray. And if you don't believe that, how the hell did you get in a camp? That's why you can't be so quick to let anybody destroy. Yeah, yeah, destroy. You can't be quick to do that. Because it's going it's to be a conflict. Okay? For he, see, here it is, for he that biddeth him, God's speed is a partaker of his evil deeds, see? So if you said, yeah, yeah, how about you? And you know this man, he doesn't even believe in a lot of the stuff in the scriptures. Even with what? What's it, Deuteronomy 20, 20, 29? A lot of men get emotional about that. You do know that's a part of the doctrine. But we're not doing that. We're not running around grabbing up women, seizing them. So-called so -called rape doctrine. Even if you don't believe that, that's within the law. So you've got men that say they believe in the law, but when particular laws come out, they don't, they don't believe in it. It's an offence to them. And not just that, there's other laws as well. Can't have long hair. You even, get, you even get men that get emotional about that. You can't have long hair. Okay. <laughs> you even got men that get emotional about that. Okay. And Samson, he didn't have... He didn't have lo Look, Samson had long hair, but what did he have? Okay, what did he have? He had braids, and you can unlock braids. You can't do that with dreads. Okay, you have to cut them off. They become knotted. Okay. Anyway, let's stay on topic. Be not a partaker of his evil deeds, because this man, he's going to be destroyed. If he's not rooted in Yahweh, he's going to be destroyed. That's why you can't just join hand in hand with that spirit well. We're all Israelites, we're all going to make it anyway, but don't you want to make it on the first go around? You want to make it on the first go around? Don't want to be, what type of spirit is that? Right? Having many things to write unto you, I would write, I would not write with paper and ink, but I trust to come unto you, right? And speak face to face. So Paul, when these letters were not written, he actually wanted to what? See them face to face. Right? That our joy may be full and the children of thy elect sister greet thee. Because this was actually written to what? One of the elect ladies. Okay. So yeah, this shows you, yet yeah, the doctrine does matter. Right? Whoever's telling you it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, then that individual, he's obviously going off. Right? Because I want to know, I want to know what I'm learning is right, is correct. Okay? What you're teaching is correct. You want to be what certain of that. You don't want to be uncertain. Right? That's why the scripture says, eat the whole roll. Let's go to Ezekiel. Baba Kishore. Because when you don't eat the whole roll, guess what? You're more likely to be offended. Because you have not ate the roll. So you might see something in the scriptures that a brother brings out. And you've never seen that before. So because you've never seen it, you're more likely to get offended. 
Because you're like, well, where was, where was that in the scriptures? Oh, it's there. It's just that, it's just that you never read. Okay, you never read the scriptures. Well, it's, you read the scriptures, but you were not reading all of it. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Okay, bear me just a minute. Eat the scriptures, eat the whole roll. Not just bits, not just... See, eat the whole roll. The reason why you're not eating the whole roll because there's bits in there, the roll, that are not delightful to you. That you don't like the... There's a bit of that roll that you, you, can't, you can't stomach. You see? So if you're not eating the whole roll, that's because there's particular things within that roll you can't stomach. Right? Let's go to Ezekiel 3. Okay. Start at 6. Okay. 2 and 6. And thou son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. Thou brares and fawns, be with thee. And our people are likened to what? Brares and fawns. Okay. Scorpions. Okay. Brares and fawns, be with thee. Okay. And thus dwell among scorpions. So we're dwelling among, among scorpions. We're in a danger zone. Okay. Among scorpions. And what scorpion you can kill you poisonous okay that's how people are like and unto scorpions right be not afraid of their words nor to be dismayed at their looks right you're not supposed to be scared okay though they be a rebellious house a man, a man may have a mean mug on you he, he may, may be mean mugging you you know asking you are you, you affiliated you know and if you're a part of that, get, 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 um, get out of it as well. If you're any gang, get out, remove yourself from them. You know, they may be me mugging you, asking you, are you affiliated? You know, are you down? Okay. You know. Maybe asking you, what's your set? Okay. Dwell among schoolies, be not afraid of their words. Okay. Nor be dismayed at their looks. Though they be a rebellious house, because sometimes you teach us words and you're going to get different responses. Okay. Where was it? And it says, Neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. So the children of Israel, they are a rebellious house. Okay. Thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, whether they want to listen or not. Okay, for they are most rebellious. Okay, but when Esau tells them to do it, they 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 do it straight away. When Esau puts something on the news, they'd be quick to publish that. But when it's our own people, no. Nah. When it's a brother that looks just like you, 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 you can't listen to him. A lot of people, a lot of our people got a lot of uh, uh, self self hate. When you see your own people with wisdom teaching you something, you, you can't hear them. A lot of that goes back to what slavery as well. Right? But thou son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou the rebellious, be not thou rebellious at that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. So that's what that's what you do. Open your mouth and you eat what digest this word. Fully digest it. Get used as well, you know when you're doing a video, you may be out wherever you are. Get used to, after you've done that video, thinking upon what you've read. That's digesting. Okay? You're digesting, you're, you're meditating, you're, you're eating this word and you're meditating upon what you've read. Excuse me. Right? And you're meditating on what you've read. That's digesting. Okay? That's what we're supposed to do in this truth. Digest this word fully. Right? See what else we got. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat thou that thou findest. Okay. Eat this roll. Go and speak unto the house of Israel. That's when you go and speak to the house of Israel. It doesn't say instantly, go out and speak to the house of Israel. It says, eat the roll first. So you have to read the scriptures from, from what? Front to back. 
Okay. From from front to back, you need to read the scriptures to see what it says. And in the Hebrew, what would we be reading? Right to left. See, Esau does everything backwards. In the Hebrew, we'd be reading what? Right to left, not left to right. Okay. So you've got to read the scriptures, eat this roll, then go out. You've had men that never never ate the roll at all, or just ate little, little niblets out of that roll and went out. That's why the scripture says in Jeremiah, I did not send them. They were not sent. Okay. Satan sent them. Right? Excuse me. If a man's asking you something, this going to get times... Bear with just a minute. Banana keep going loose. There's going to be times where someone may ask you something and you don't know the answer. You say, well, you know what? I don't know about that right now. I'll try and find it out. That's what you say. That takes humility. You know? You know what? I don't really know about that right now, but I'm going to look into it. That takes humility. A lot of men can't do that. But they give you, yeah, yeah. Khan, Khan. The Lord ain't looking for um, man pleasers. Okay? Yeah, yeah, Khan, Khan. Yeah, yeah, Khan, Khan. Till the missiles um, hit, hit, hit you. Right? <sighs> Excuse me. Got to be serious about the truth. You've got to be sincere. All right? We're going to go on for a little bit longer. So where was I? Eat the whole roll. And so I open my mouth and he calls me to eat the roll. Right? And what's that? To digest. Okay? So when we come to the truth, it's about digesting this roll. Okay? And he said unto me, Son of man, Cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Fill. So you want to be filled with what? This word. Right? When did I eat and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness? Right? So it becomes sweet when you first hear about this word. Really, really sweet. Excited. Filled with joy. That joy always it should, should always be there. But then it becomes bitter. The longer you're in, the bitter... The longer you're in, the more bitter it becomes. Because you're learning more. You've ate the roll. And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my, with my words unto them. Not somebody else's. Yahabashai's words. Right? For that are not sent to a people of strange speech or of a hard language, but unto the house of Israel. And that's what we're supposed to do. Right? See what else we got. Okay. Bear me just a minute. See what else we can find. Nothing's wrong with learning. What did, what did that Ethiopian eunuch have to do? Okay. He had to what? Learn under somebody else. Nothing's wrong with that. Okay? If someone asks you, you know, who, 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 who did you learn of? And some of you may say, yeah, yeah we understand, you have a he, he does teach you, we understand that, but it's like, who did you learn of? Oh no, I just learned of the most high, you have a No, someone, someone taught you. You were taught, come on, let's be real. If anybody asks me, I'll say, look, I'll, I've learned the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Okay? And certain brothers as well, from even from the UK. Okay, what taught me this truth? I didn't just... W oh, yeah, you woke up, there was a process, but someone had to teach you. There's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no pride in, 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 in admitting that. There's pride when you don't want to say that. Oh, no, I taught myself. Yeah, yeah, Habashai teaches you. We understand that. When you get to a particular level, he, he, can deal, he deals with you. But men also taught you as well. Right? So bear me just a minute. Nothing is wrong with that. Bear me just a minute. See if I can find it in Acts. If not, we we'll move on. Right? Everybody had a teacher at one point. And that's with every that's with everything in everything in life. I haven't seen anybody come a brilliant electronical technician or mechanic or anything without being taught. Bear me just a minute. Even when you go to school, 
what are you what's happening you're being taught someone's teaching you you sit down and you're listening and you you raise your hand <laughs> and you raise your hand when you got a question so yeah men teach you anybody's telling you otherwise then know what you're talking about do you get to a particular point where you don't need anybody teaching you yes in terms of them guiding you when you're built up but we all had teachers Paul who did he have Gamaliel okay he was taught by Gamaliel right and even even within the prophets you always have men that were over other men who came to David Nathan Nathan was set over David as a prophet you've always had that and that's that's to keep things in order that's to keep things in order so you always had prophets that looked out for other prophets their souls right because could, could you could you imagine if you didn't have any 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 brother that looked out for you can you imagine how this world would be so that's why you have a set it up that way right bear me just a minute Just, just jumping around. All right. So Philippians 1 and 20. So I wasn't looking for this, but I'm still going to quote it. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Mashiach. That whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs. So scriptures talk about our communication. So our communication is supposed to be based on what? The kingdom, Yahweh Shai, the good things that are about to come. Okay. The gospel, right? And that you stand fast in one spirit and one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. So you have to be in one spirit and one mind. You can't be in two spirits and two minds. Because then there's going to be what? A, com a confliction. Right? One mind, striving for the gospel. Right? See what else we got. And in nothing, terrified by your adversaries. Because... Adversaries means enemies, which goes into what? Shatan. Okay. But in nothing 